If you watch one of my other front wheel drive hub and bearing replacement videos, I use the high torque impact gun to torque out the old bearing from the steering knuckle. High torque twisting pressure from the impact gun applies force on the adapter against the bearing in the steering knuckle. I found another way to apply pressure without any twisting force. I was in a tool store and saw a portable hydraulic knockout punch kit and wondered if I could use that instead of an impact gun. The kit had a 10 ton hydraulic hand pump that attaches to a hydraulic cylinder along with various punch dies. I thought if I could attach my bearing service kit's forcing screw to the hydraulic cylinder, I wouldn't need to use my impact gun. The problem with using impact guns is they need a lot of continuous torque to force the bearing out. This tends to place a lot of stress and wear on the gun. You can use a six foot long breaker bar to gradually force the bearing out, but that can take a lot of time and patience. If you watch this video to the point where I'm ready to press out the bearing, you'll see that this hydraulic hand pump does work in forcing out steering knuckle bearings. In a minute or so, you're going to see how I use this hydraulic pump, and you'll be impressed by how smooth and quiet it is, and I don't have to worry about wearing out my impact gun. So this portable hydraulic press kit is a good addition to work with my bearing press kit and negate the need of using a high torque impact gun. We want to press the old bearing out through here, the sleeve. So we're going to mount this sleeve over here like that. This will work. Yeah. So go like this. This gets screwed on. And the bearing will be in here getting pushed through. So we put this here. Put this here. Just screw this on. I'm turning the forcing screw into the hydraulic puller. Now we'll attach the pump. Okay, this maxed out. When I release the pressure here, this is going to loosen up. And I'll show you how much it pulled the bearing. It pulled in that much of the bearing. Got everything tightened up again, and now I'll just continue. And there, the bearing's out.
See, the diameter of this adapter will butt right against his inner lip of the outer race. This will work perfectly. But the reason why this doesn't work is because you've got this lip right here, which covers the outer edge of the outer race. So you always have to use an adapter that is smaller than this outer diameter, but not so small that it won't push the bearing out. Because you need an adapter that will go fit inside here. See? So this lip prevents the bearing from coming out from the outside. This prevents the bearing from coming out from the inside. So I cleaned up the mounting hole and the steering knuckle, put a little bit of grease in there to help the new bearing slide in. And now we're going to get the bearing that we put in the freezer because when you put metal in freezing conditions, it'll contract. and It'll be that much easier for the bearing to slide into the knuckle. Put the bearing in overnight and then uh, be good to go the next day when you're ready to do the bearing placement. So put that in here. So we're going to be pressing the bearing in from this side. And this is the right diameter adapter for the bearing. Look how easy that bearing's going in. Okay, maxed out on the pumping pressure, so I gotta relieve the pressure. Turn the adjusting screw. And continue pumping. I think that maxed out. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's check on this side. Yep, right on the edge. So the bearing is completely seated. It's in there. Okay, so this adapter fits inside the snap ring. So that when I push the, the hub in, the pressure from the hub getting pushed in isn't going to push the inner race out. It's going to be flush up against here, against the adapter. Now we'll take the forcing screw with this adjustment adapter. And then we'll take this adapter, which is slightly above the size of this diameter hub. Now I'm going to make sure the hub is square, which it is, and now I'm going to push the hub into the bearing. Okay, that maxed out. I will relieve the pressure. I'll relieve the slack. Yep. 
and I'll continue pumping. Okay, I'll leave the pressure. Turn the screw. Let's see if it won't go anymore. Yep, that's it. Okay, relieve the pressure. When we attach the hub to the CV axle, the remainder of the hub, when we apply torque to the CV nut, will press up against this part of the, of the CV axle, and that will complete the, the bearing and hub replacement.